Tip number one, shoot outdoors. I'm sure you have an amazing office, but something tells me there might be some more interesting scenery outside than there is inside. Even if it's just throwing rocks outdoors, there's always an interesting shot that you can get. Most of the time you can't get away with sunglasses in a shot. So make sure you think about where the sun is. Now there's a great app called Sunseeker. You could download that to work out where the sun's going to be at certain times of day. Now what do you want the sun to do? It's not great when the sun is shining direct in your face. You will have to wear sunglasses to pull that one off. And also, if the sun's harsh to the side of your face, you'll end up getting this great Phantom of the Opera look that you can see on our snowman model here. So this is a perfect example of what not to do when you have very bright sunlight. It shines on one side of the face and you end up with dark on the other side of the face, including Riley's face there. So make sure you work with either cloud cover or try and balance the light and find an area that's lightly shaded so that you can get the shot that's not so harsh, including direct overhead lights inside as well. That's my phone. That's, that's my phone. Shoot just like you shoot on your phone. Another thing to think about is audio. Make sure if you have a screaming child screaming into your microphone that you can see her in the shot. If there's cars and trucks driving by or boats in the background, make sure you see them in the shot. Of course, if the audio isn't in the shot, probably a good idea to do a reshoot of that one. Also, think about Atmos. Your editors will love you if you shoot some Atmos. What is Atmos? It's the atmospheric sound. So roll on a clip of 30 seconds of still audio. Nothing but the audio going on around you and the atmospheric sound. No talking during that 30 seconds. Send it through to your editors and tell them it's an Atmos clip and they will love you because it makes it so much easier. Moving shots, moving shots are fantastic. Make sure you're using the gimbal, getting lots of movement in the shots. Shots like this, this one, this one. There are so many interesting shots that you can get with movement. So make sure you use your gimbal and get some interesting shots.